The concerned Catholics of Guam is demanding a public apology and for Archbishop Anthony Aperon to rescind a general decree that orders Catholics to disassociate from the group. The general decree goes into effect today. On behalf of the CCOG, Tim Rohr, a local Catholic blogger, sent a letter to Pope Francis pointing out the discrepancies in a general decree issued by Archbishop Aperon while also demanding that the decree be rescinded. The decree was issued a day before Archbishop Aperon's administrative authority was removed by Pope Francis, who then appointed Archbishop Savio Hantai Fai to take over as apostolic administrator. The decree orders Catholics to disassociate from CCOG, which the decree declares is a prohibited society that spreads malicious and fraudulent allegations. Rohr was on mornings with Patty Arroyo on News Talk K57 this morning to talk about this decree. So what, what happens to me if I say Biba CCOG today? Uh, well, then you do set yourself up under this delict, which actually uh, makes you vulnerable to some official decision of the church to limit your access to the sacraments, confession. Your, uh, it's not a full excommunication, but it could be. It could lead to that. Like, yep. the, like my, like the, everybody get the memo that she can't take communion. Uh, yeah, I mean, you would be actually if they actually officially did it. Even if you took communion, you'd be committing a mortal sin. Although the, the decree does not spell out what the consequences are for those who don't follow the general decree, Rohr says it could become a problem for Guam's Catholic faithful. So we have this Archbishop Pond asking for unity and for prayers and basically having, you know, lovings and holding hands. Uh, but we have a decree that is leveled against every Catholic on this, on, in this diocese, mm -hmm. not just the CCRG. Okay. So for him to actually uh, wait this long to address it, I'm, I'm letting the Pope know what we we're, what our demands are, and that is for the current Apostolic Administrator, one, to publicly rescind the decree, and number two, for Aperon and Cristobal to publicly apologize to the Catholics of Guam. Archbishop Hahn's assistant, Father Ted Novak, issued a statement this afternoon saying Archbishop Hahn, quote, has decided not to grant media interviews until he has had time to consult with the many various members of the clergy, religious, and dedicated lay faithful of the Archdiocese. The Archbishop Hahn appreciates the work of the media and he thanks them for their cooperation. He will address the media in due time, end quote.